What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here again. Ten like a T.I. motherfucking is. Now, I'm going to say this. It's like I still wonder why this motherfucker gets to walk on the streets. Why? Why does he get to walk? Why does he get to be a free man? He breaks the laws more than ever, but he gets to walk. He gets to do any damn, any damn thing he wants. I'm sitting up here getting pissed off at him because he's breaking the laws. He's getting away with it. If I broke the laws, I'm going to jail. He killed Trayvon Martin. That's fucked up. Second thing is about that. Second thing is is that once he was a, once he was found not guilty, he started breaking the law by traffic. Not like not traffic, but uh, speeding tickets. And actually, they, they found that he had a uh, he had a, a gun in the car, the same gun that killed Trayvon Martin. And he still hasn't gone to jail for that shit. Because he's got a permit license, whatever. But like I said, he's breaking the laws and he's getting away with it. And it still fucks me up. Like he's getting away with it. Now he... Now he's sitting there up there. And got arrested because he... Like, he hit his girlfriend or something like that. And then pushed her out the door and like just barricaded himself in the in the house with guns and now he's back in court now watch I'm gonna say this watch this motherfucker get found not guilty again and he gets to walk the streets again just watch because I'm sitting up here wondering it's like why does this motherfucker keep walking why does he keep getting away with so much why does he keep sitting up there breaking the laws and nothing has happened That's the question. That is the motherfucking question. He keeps breaking these laws and getting away with it. He keeps sitting up there doing all this shit. But ain't nobody doing nothing about it. He's sitting up there getting away with so much. Oh, I forgot. Because his daddy is a fucking judge. Was a judge. He's a retired judge. And uh, his daddy was a uh, was a judge. He's a retired judge. I was like, but why? It's like I don't think his father being a judge should have anything to do with him breaking the law. But it seems like it is. He keeps getting away with so much shit, and it's pissing me off because he gets to do it. Now you got to question this shit. Come on, y'all got to question this. How come he can beat up a woman? Now the funny thing is, he actually threatened to kill his strange wife he tried to kill his father-in-law and I'm sitting up here questioning it's like okay why is he getting away with so much and ain't nothing happened ain't nothing happened and there's motherfuckers supporting him on that there's always going to be somebody supporting him on that he can break the law so many times that he can get away with it he can murder five people and still get away with it but nobody, because nobody don't want to do nothing about it. I'm for real. It's not about his race. It's about how much money his fucking daddy got to bail him out of fucking trouble. And that's how it is. He 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 can get get away with so much. He can get away with so much, and I, and it's pissing me off. It's pissing me off. That he can get away with so much shit. I just. Uh, I I just don't know what the fuck. To think about this shit no more. Because like I said. He can get away with so much shit. And not get in trouble. He can sit there and walk the streets. And kill 15 people. And nobody would do nothing about it. And that's how it is. That's how his motherfucking is. He can get away with so much. He can get away with so much, but he sits up there and and like he's this innocent motherfucker. Oh, I didn't do nothing. He breaks the laws more than ever. I see y'all gotta question this shit, man. Y'all gotta wonder why he can get, he can get away with so much. Y'all gotta question this shit. How come he can get away with so much on 
on breaking the laws that I just don't get it, man. Why? Why? Why can't? Why how come you can can get away with so much? That is the question. Why? Nobody can answer these questions. Oh man. It just it just pisses me off that people like George Zimmerman can break the laws and still get away with so much. And the reason why I'm saying all this is because I sat here for the longest, man. I'm always I don't trust the news because it lies too much, but I'm always seeing it on it. Certain people getting doing breaking the law and they're going to prison for it. I've seen white people go to jail. Not like you see, it's not about race, but I'm saying like this. I've seen white people go to jail over killing somebody or a drug bust, same as black folks. And still, and still, he could kill one person and walk from that charge. And it's and it's so fucked up. And it's so fucked up about it. And ain't and I just don't know, man. I just don't know why he can get away with so much. I just don't know why. I I don't know why he can get away with so much, and not not suffer the consequences of his actions. Like everybody else gets to suffer their consequences of their actions, but when it comes down to it, he doesn't. He doesn't. He can get away with so much and then still and still walk the streets of today. Walk the streets and do break all these laws. He can sell drugs, he can do drugs, he can rape women, he can kill people, he can do anything he wants and still get away with this shit. And I still wonder why. And I still wonder why. See what I'm saying? And it's and people's got to wake up, man. People's got to wake up and stop supporting people like George Zimmerman. Oh, we love George Zimmerman, so it's okay that he comes to your house, kid, your fucking family, and get away with murder. Is that what it is? It's okay for him. Like it's it seems like people love for him like it's like the video I did about James Holmes having a lot of fucking fans that people are so obsessed with James Holmes oh we love James Holmes James Holmes is the best it's just like that it's just like how people just like people being fans of being fans of James Holmes or and I st and I still trying to figure it out. It's like why? What makes him so fucking special? What makes him so fucking special? Nobody can answer that. Nobody can answer that because nobody wants to answer it because they want to kiss his ass. I'm just tired of it. I'm just tired of waking up every day, and this motherfucker's breaking all these laws and shit and getting away with it and. Yada yada yada, so on and so forth, but nobody wants to do nothing about it. Nobody. But when it comes down to other people that's other people that broke in the law, they get jailed for it, they get prison for it, they got probation, they get an ankle bracelet. And that's what I'm saying. He can get away, it's like like he like he put on his epic he put something down like he was homeless and all that so fuck you was living with your girlfriend with all these fucking guns and you get to walk the streets pointing guns at people's faces and getting away with so much shit because you think that's the bomb diggity or whatever oh that's the bomb fucking diggity bomb fucking diggity and I'm sitting up here like why 
why? Why does he get to get away with so much? Why? Why does he? And it just makes no fucking sense every day to see this man get up and break the law. And people think he's God gift to earth. Guys, gift to earth. And to sit here and watch these people kiss his motherfucking ass. For real, people kiss his ass and then it just makes no fucking sense that he gets away with so much and I'm questioning this shit and people are going to comment on it saying fuck you Afro Joe fuck this fuck that fuck you and all this shit because I'm talking bad mouth and George Zimmerman it's like why are you kissing his ass why do you like him so much why do you think he's a fucking role model to your kids you want this motherfucker to be a role model to your kids that he can break the law kill people I, I guess so because they keep these people keep dreaming that their kids will grow up to be like George Zimmerman they keep thinking that so fucking much. And that's all it is. That's, that's how I see it. But ain't nobody having the fucking guts to step up to this man. Nobody. Nobody. I, I just fucking hate this fucker. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Afro Joe saying like T.I.E. is once again. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Uh, follow me on Tumblr and you'll get it. And subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2, CeeLo Jr. 3. And tell me what you think about the situation, the issue. When I say the situation, the issue, I mean George Zimmerman. That is the issue. That is the it, that's what we're talking about, but tell me what you think about it. Peace, love, and Afro Greece. And I'm going to say one thing is to all my subscribers, I would love to hang out with y'all. I don't do that Google Hangout, but look, I want y'all to come on Second Life and hang out with me, man. Just come on Second Life and hang out with me. I will probably, if you do that, leave me a message on my, on my YouTube or Twitter or Facebook tumblr and i'll hook you up so you can come chill with me on second life peace love and afro grease man peace